Hello my beautiful friends. Welcome to another video. So today I am going to work on some ornaments and I have some lovely new primary element colors to show you. Um, these are, most of them are in the December kit. I will let you know whether or not, uh, if they are or not. So there's 12 colors in the kit. Uh, eight ounce bottle of polypore, 25 little white spoons for the perfect measurements. And they are gorgeous. Only available for December, these colors. And my coupon code expires December 31st. So if you're thinking about getting these, now's the time to do it because January 1st, it will go back to 20%. So let's get started. This first color here is called Black Cherry Wine. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not going to keep saying absolutely gorgeous because they are all absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty. Next up I have, now give me a second here because they all start to look the same. I believe this is jasmine now this one is not in the kit the black cherry wine is then i have uh let's see i think this one is the raspberry wine yes that is the raspberry wine and then i have bougainvillea or Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea. Really pretty color, also in the kit. And then what I did was for, for um, I didn't want to have all metallic looking colors, so I mixed up one matte color using the violet from Holbein, and that is this color. So there's no shimmer in that. The rest are. So out of those four colors, the only color that's not in this month's kit is the jasmine, which is this one. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to get into the green palette. So this is vintage mint. Then we have green tea. Mystique, I don't know if you can see on that cup there, this is really a pretty color. And then I took some of the Interference Gold Pearl, not included in the kit. I put a little bit of this powder into a cup with literally five flakes, and that was very hard to do, of the green tea. And I made this really pretty shimmery gold that has a green tint to it really really pretty that's the other fun thing about these products is you can mix and match them to make your own colors so included in this month's kit was these three not the specialty one that i made all right and these are bling it they are the interference colors and they come in all they come in gold blue uh, violet, red, I'm sure I skipped one there. And then they also have sparkle ones where it's gold sparkle, blue sparkle, which adds, it doesn't lighten your color, but it just adds that interference sparkle kind of look to it. And for the greens, I mixed up a little bit of the turquoise phthalo by Golden. Okay, moving on. This one is in the kit called Tanzanite. It's got a violet color shift to it. 
Then we have another one that's very similar called Moonbeams, which does not have the violet shift to it. Those are both in the kit. Then we have Twilight, also in the kit. And then this last color is Majestic Blue, but this one is not in the kit. This is just an, an everyday uh, color that you can buy. And there is that one. The most beautiful deep royal blue I have ever seen. And then to go along with those, I mixed up a little bit of Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Just to have that one color that is not shimmery. Next group will be the warmer of the colors that I have. So this is Hot Cinnamon. This one is not in the kit. This is Mango Freeze. This one is in the kit. Really, really pretty. In person too, these colors, they just sparkle so much. It's a shame that you can't see it through the camera. And then this one is called Sunset Glow. That one is also in the kit. Then this last one here is not in the kit. This is actually a resin art color. Now this may confuse some of you, but some of these uh colors work both in resin and in acrylics there are certain ones in the blingit category on color arts webpage if you go to the cut the category that says blingit those are the colors known to work in both resin and acrylic some of the primary elements will work in resin, but it depends on the color. Um, you would literally have to test them out to see if they would dissolve easily for you. Some do, some don't. So it's kind of a uh, process of elimination thing. But this is Tiger Eye, and this is one of those colors that works both in resin and in acrylic pouring. Just gorgeous. And then just a uh, Arteza Scarlet Red for my non-shimmery color. So we are set. We're going to get started now. But before we do, I have to show you my contraption I made. So that is a chopstick that is crammed into a styrofoam block. I then took some epoxy sculpt and molded it onto the stick and the foam block and it is sturdy very sturdy what i'm hoping to do is i'm hoping to be able to jam the heart onto the stick and then because it's on there so nice and tight i'm hoping that the ornament will not spin while i am trying to decorate it and the reason i'm doing this is because the backs of the ornaments always have an area where it's pretty screwed up because the paint doesn't get down there. So I'm hoping if it's hanging in the midair that I'll be able to get it. I also saw Jenny Post do a video yesterday. She had toothpicks up here uh, in her styrofoam with the heart balanced on it. So I'm going to try that also. Uh, if you haven't seen her video, check it out. It is gore just the ornaments that she made oh my god and another channel to check out that i have uh seen a new channel molten girl studios i believe if it's not studios please don't hurt me pam um i'm gonna link her below go check her out she does amazing amazing art so yeah go check her out all right here we go all right, so I crammed the heart ornament onto the stick and with a little piece of foil tape, I also, just around the little neck of the ornament, wrapped it around 
just for added security, but I crammed it on there pretty good. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take my white paint and I want to get the whole ornament coated. And for my white house, my white paint, I'm using house paint, uh, Walmart brand, semi-gloss interior house paint. Now I'm hoping that it's not too thick. We're going to see though. Now the reason why I went through all of this trouble uh, with the stick and the styrofoam block is because if you rest the ornament on something, then that something leaves its imprint on the back of the ornament. And when you go to pull it away, kind of tears the ornament a little bit. Plus, as I said, it's hard to coat the underneath of it. It's hard for the colors to wrap around. So this is what I thought of. So we shall see if it works. We shall find out together if it works. <laughs> so I'm just coating the underneath. Now, if I was working on a round ornament, I would just, you know, put this stick standing straight up and just slide the ornament down onto it. But because these are hearts and I don't want to design them from the bottom up, that is another reason for dreaming up this craziness. So there you go. She's nice and coated. So we're going to get right into it. I have some... By the way, the colors are all mixed with a bloom recipe, which I will link at the back of the description. But you can do this with Floetrol mixed colors also. It doesn't have to be this recipe. Okay, so let's start with the pinks, shall we? And you got to kind of move quick because it's not a flat surface, so it'll start running really fast. So I think with this color, I'm going to go with black cell activator. I don't use black nearly enough. It's very hard to blow on these. I gotta get a uh, my turkey baster. They're hard to reach. Okay, and you just want to let the uh, cells come up on their own. They will come. Just have to be patient. And while you're waiting, you could just move over to another spot. This time I will do just a few of the colors, not all of them. Mix it up a little bit. Very, very pretty. Extremely pretty. Okay. Um, let's 
werden. Don't want to overdo it either. So you got to be careful. This gorgeous. If I don't run my finger through it, it's gorgeous. The sides are extremely hard. You're literally going to get maybe two colors on there and that's it before it's running off. But the ornament's staying pretty good. Just going down to the back and blowing back there also. This is gorgeous. And then we'll do one more tiny one over here. And then I think I'm just going to stop because you could overdo it. And then you get mad at yourself like I do. So let's bring these three over here. See if I can reach it from this angle. Oh, I missed some weight. It's a good thing I came over here. I'm going to turn this a little bit. So you guys can see what I'm seeing. See that? And I'm going to give you a close-up too. I just have to finagle this a little bit so I can reach it. This side, eh, not so much. But the other side, hmm. Let's try one right there. leave it just like that okay so moving on I want to try this without putting the tape on to see if it actually works I don't know though that it will because I'm looking at the other one well let's try it there's only one way to find out I mean I have it pushed on there pretty hard So I'm hoping that that's good enough, but we shall see. And I have to be very mindful of this other ornament now on the side of me. So if I was on my kitchen table doing this, um, not worried about how far the camera's fil uh, filming and all that, I would have more room. But because I have to have the camera on, I'm kind of stuck here okay just gonna take this and wipe her down i would think it would fall relatively quick if it's gonna fall off hopefully anyway <laughs> this way it just so much easier to coat the underneath there are no marks afterwards okay it's a messy job but somebody's got to do it right so here we go with the green shades so mystique mint and 
my special concoction of gold and green tea. Green tea. Phthalo. Green. And this one will go for white. Get my little blower. I probably should put my airbrush on a little bit. But So while that's setting up, I'll work on this side. Pretty, pretty colors. So if you're interested in the ornaments, I'll have the information down below. Uh, Miss Judy Sand sells them by the case, half case and quarter case. Really great quality ornaments, not the average craft store ornaments. Nice and heavy, thick glass. All right, and we'll do a little more phthalo. These colors are behaving a little bit better. They're a lot, a little bit thicker. For some reason. I don't know why that is. Beautiful. Now we're going to let that sit for a minute. And now we're going to try the toothpicks. This one is really, really, I don't know if you could see that. I'll give you a close up at the end of the video. Okay, so last one. So you just stick a couple of toothpicks. I put three in there into a piece of styrofoam and set your heart right on top of it. Now I'm going to coat the bottom first off camera so I don't pour it all over the uh, block. I want to make sure I get good coverage. Hopefully that's not too much. Just letting it drain off a little bit here. Wow, this is really slippery. Okay. Really slippery, really messy. So. Pour a little bit more in there. You could also put something like uh, nails. I saw Erica Hughes, I believe, use nails and a piece of wood to rest them on. Nails with smaller heads. Obviously, you don't want a big old mark on the back. So, there's that. All right, now we're going to do the blue some of the blues, some of the reds, just to get this done. I don't want the video to run over a half hour. So 
I'm going to come in with, and we'll use the black cell activator in this one, even though I love white and blue. Let's just see what kind of mix we get here by choosing a few of the different colors together. Some contrasting colors, some complementary colors. Why not? All right, let's do, uh, let's do that. All right. So this is hot cinnamon. Ooh, that looks like it's moving on me. Is it really moving? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bloop. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> we shall see. All right, I'm going to put down the mango freeze first. Hot cinnamon. Tiger eye. I want to get it to come this way. Come on. Majestic blue. Come on. Come forward, baby. Prussian blue. And black. Whoops. Black. This is really a hard angle. Let me see if I could move it a wee bit. We'll see what that turns into and in the meantime let me go over here Yeah, that one's so-so, but it is developing still. And we'll do, or try to do one right here. It's probably going to just come flying down at me, though. The tip of the heart is very hard to get fast enough. Okay, I got a little rambunctious there. <laughs> I went a little bit crazy on that one. So we're going to cover that up. Hot Cine. Russian blue, black, all 
right? I'm going to let that one develop. All right, so I'll just give you guys a quick close-up. You know, just play around, have a good time, make some unique ornaments for your friends. Sorry about that glare there, but it's unavoidable. And then here was the first one I did. You can see those primary elements, how they change colors, depending on which way you look at them. And then here is the blue one. From that side and from the other. Now, you'll notice that the cells, when they go down the, the side, they obviously get distorted, right? So my advice to you would be, if you want to try to do this, do one nice big puddle right in the, the top center right here. Blow it out really good. And where they fall, they fall. You'll have a beautiful pattern in the, the front of the ornament with some really pretty cells. And then, um, you know, some of the cells going down the side like this. I think this one's gorgeous. This is just absolutely stunning. Now, let me tell you something. I would be happy with that on my tree. So anyways, I want to thank you all for watching today. If you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, my email is listed below if you need to reach out for some reason. The link for my Facebook group is also there, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. Check that out. Um, oh, I wanted to show you how my painting from the other day. Sorry, I hit pause. <laughs> I wanted to show you how my painting dried from the other day and I hit the pause button right in the middle of saying that. So hold on. Here she is resin and ready for her new home. If you're interested, you can send me an email or by Tammy at yahoo.com. Uh, if not, I'm going to be putting her on Etsy. Uh, absolutely gorgeous and the resin just does things that you cannot imagine <laughs> so there you have it i'll put one more top coat on her oh i wanted to show you okay i don't know if you could see it probably not see the edges on the canvas when you resin will always have a little tiny bit showing through. Now, believe it or not, a lot of people will mail it out like that. I will not. I will put another coat on this. But either way, she's flawless. Other than that last coat I'll put on. And beautiful. And then I have one more here. It's very hard to film this stuff. But... That one is also available and about to go up on Etsy. So if you're interested, just email me and we can take it from there. I love you all. I have kitties crying because they are hungry. I bid you all a fantastic day. It's my Christmas tree. And happy pouring.